we are maybe starting to, um, to bend a little bit here. British Columbia went deep with its data last week. To help us um, plot a, a course that we can all get around and understand. Tuesday, the White House went even further, projecting between 100,000 and 240,000 deaths over the course of the pandemic, if people stick to social distancing. This is where we have the ability to push it down. Alberta and Quebec say they've got data modeling coming. So where are Canada's national projections for the outbreak? I think it's only fair that the citizens are completely aware of what the different projections show so that we can we can plan ahead and we and, and so that there's no surprises. It might wake some people up to really understand how, how serious this can be. The Prime Minister acknowledged today Canadians want to see the scenarios the government is looking at. You want to prepare for the worst. You want to know what to be hopeful about. I know. But can't quite say when that will happen. Soon. Because, officials say, this has a lot of moving parts. We need accurate data, and the provinces and territories have been working really hard to get to a place where they can provide us with that. There are specific concerns about Ontario ramping up its testing, but that province is coming forward with projections, not just soon, but tomorrow. No matter how tough the message is going to be tomorrow, it's the fair thing to do to people in Ontario. They have to know where we stand. Though the U.S. is a reminder that models can change. The day after its announcement, it increased its projection by thousands of deaths. New numbers in this country could be sobering. The hope is that it will convince Canadians to do their best to stay safe. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.